everyone. So the other day, someone asked if I was going to do a Q&A, and my thought was, probably not, but you know, here we are anyway, doing a Q&A. And I'm gonna answer the questions that you all left on my community post on this channel. Let's get into it. Mid asks, what is your favorite food? Which is a really hard question to ask. I would say probably the easiest answer is fruit. I love fruit of all kinds. I really enjoy cooking. I like trying all kinds of new food. I'm not really like a picky eater. And I just, I love learning about different cuisines. It's just something very fun for me. Like I collect cookbooks. It's really entertaining as far as like what my favorite food is. Oh, um, let me think. I go through phases. I go through phases of like what I'm really enjoying at the time. I guess if I had to say, I guess I would say maybe Cuban food just because I'm Cuban American and it has like a special place in my heart. Like arroz con pollo, platano, platano maduros is my favorite so good you shouldn't have it very often but it's really good uh y picadillo especially with raisins not everybody puts raisins in their picadillo but i do sophia asks did you ever have a youtube channel before led games and no i've never had a youtube channel before this was my very first one although i've always loved youtube i've always loved youtube it's been kind of like more of like Something that I just enjoy to consume. I would much rather watch a YouTube video than like traditional TV or even Netflix or Hulu. I would just much rather watch YouTube. It's just more so my thing. So yeah, LED was my very first venture into making YouTube videos for me specifically. Uh, Nico asks, what inspired you to make YouTube videos? And I've talked about this a little in my last video here on this channel, uh, the one where I get a little bit vulnerable with you all. So I talked in that video about how interested I have been in the concept of free freedom uh, for quite a while now and there was something just like so liberating about being able to play Splatoon and just have a goofy time and think like I don't know I could I could share that with people and we could all just like enjoy that moment like that just seemed really something about it just it lit a flame inside of me if that makes sense I I don't know how to explain, but some basically something happened where I went full force with this channel and with wanting to make videos. Like I just had like this deep desire to make videos. So if you want more context, definitely go check out uh, the last video I did on this channel about getting vulnerable with you, it'll definitely give even more information. And if you have follow-up questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to look at them and maybe I'll answer. Fia asked another question, which is any advice for aspiring Splatubers? And I, you know, actually I thought about this a little bit and here's the thing is that everybody's creative process is unique to them. The videos that you make are not gonna be the same videos that I make and vice versa. And I love that. I love that about content creation. I love that about creativity in general, that like we're all here making videos about this silly octopus and squid game. And somehow we all come up with something like completely unique and different to us, to us as individuals and the communities that we're fostering. It's just pretty amazing. So I would say to, uh, you know, have people that you are inspired by. Uh, I think having, having inspiration is important, but at the end of the day, for me at least, the videos that I make are the videos that I would want to watch. I don't, I don't care about the algorithm like I don't care about that kind of conversation personally it's not of interest to me because for me I want to replace the word algorithm that like a lot of content creators throw around with people because I care about connecting with people and <laughs> I care about would I watch back my videos? And to be honest with you, I do. I do watch back my videos because I enjoy it. Is that like dumb? But I like it. And if I don't want to watch back my own video, then I'm doing something wrong. It's not like I'm like watching it back just to like, 
<laughs> like not in a narcissistic way. It's just it, like I and I'm enjoying myself. I like I like being able to like read back on your comments and like see things that like I didn't even notice before. It's just entertaining. So I would say to just make content that you would want to watch and you know, you'll find you'll find your voice with time and create creativity is just a process in and of itself. I'm always trying to learn and get better and improve. Like I just feel like there's so much more that I could be doing and like in an inspiring way, not in like a debilitating way. It's inspiring to me how much I can learn and do and make. And I just, uh, yeah, I would just try to instill that in yourself as well if you're interested in content creation or creation of any kind. Uh, Redfish asks, how do you feel about the Splatoon community from Splatoon 3? I love this community. I am so lucky i am so lucky to be here like everybody in the splatoon community has just been amazing and i i love it here it's <laughs> i have nothing else to say about this other than it's amazing like just i i love it that's it <laughs> Al asks, what is your favorite animated show? And this is, this is hard because to be honest with you, if I was going to watch a show, it would probably be animated. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, so my favorite movie of all time is Kiki's Delivery Service. I have like such nostalgia for that movie. I can watch it over and over again and I won't get bored of it. I love it. Like everything about it is just my favorite. I know it's not a show, it's a movie. But yeah, it, Ghibli is very popular, but Kiki's Delivery Service specifically is my favorite. As far as other shows go, um, Cowboy Bebop comes to mind. I also, I'm a huge One Piece fan, but I prefer reading over watching the anime for one piece is like oh my god it can be like really it can be good and then it can be like the worst thing i've ever seen in my life so <laughs> i highly recommend getting into one piece though if you're at all interested i would say that if you're gonna start don't start from the beginning start from skypea just look it up if you're interested and maybe that's a controversial take but that's my personal opinion i think that skypea is a great way to start the series and i'll leave it at that kate lee asks what is my favorite splatoon map and you know it's interesting actually i think i need to do like a video or like a deep dive on all the different maps because maybe i have a controversial take on this but i actually like most of the maps I really don't have a map that I'm on that I dread and here's the thing I think that people who dread this is my personal opinion and like I said I want to do a deep dive on this but I think that people who have like a deep hatred for a map it's because they main like one particular weapon and maybe that map doesn't favor that weapon and so then they're kind of like, yeah, of course I'm gonna hate that map. But for me, I, I like playing all kinds of different weapons. I like, I like kind of like figuring out how can I make the map work for me or like how can I kind of like maneuver myself around to get to the objective. Like that's my own personal take. And so I think it's an interesting question um, that I would like to do more of a deep dive on. I'm not really sure how I would do that just yet because I don't think I would wanna do a ranking. I don't necessarily know if that would be a benefit, maybe more so of like a deep dive on just the Splatoon maps. I see a lot of like negativity when it comes to conversations around the Splatoon map and I kind of want to have a little bit more of a nuanced conversation about the maps as a whole. So that's that's kind of how I feel. I, I know I didn't answer your question, but that's 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 what I got for you today. <laughs> Nate asks, do I have any pets besides Ginger? And no, I don't. I don't have any pets besides Ginger. Actually, I had no intentions of getting Ginger. Ginger is my orange big boy. Like he is like eight years old. So he's like starting to go into senior years. I got him a year ago. He just like literally showed up at my door. In like the middle of the night, I had come in from out of town. Like I, I was like flying home. And when I came home with my suitcase, he was just sitting there at my door. And 
yeah, I've had them ever since. I love ginger to pieces. I would like another cat um, specifically. I also, I really like dogs. I don't necessarily feel like I like cats over dogs. I just happen to have a cat that I love very much. Uh, and I don't know if like a dog would necessarily like, I don't think I could fit a dog in my current apartment. <laughs> I That's like, I don't think I could. Uh, but I would, I would like another cat eventually. I have like an interest in having a Siamese cat in specific. And I'll tell you why, because there is a Siamese cat that lives in my neighborhood. They're a stray and it is like the most beautiful cat you've ever seen. And it's just so, it's so lovely. And it's just like, I don't know, everybody in the neighborhood just takes care of this cat, but I want him. He's cute, but I, I, pro I will never get him. Like he's, he's fine on his own doing his thing, but I do like him. So maybe I'll get a pet in the future, but right now like me and Ging are definitely happy together. Steph asks, what games do you enjoy playing besides Splatoon 3? And here's the thing, Splatoon won't let me breathe. It literally won't let me breathe. There's so many other games that I would like to be able to play, but I just don't have the time. But there's plenty of games that I actually do intend to play or that I have played in the past that I really enjoy. And I guess some things that come to mind are, you know, everybody's a fan of Pokemon. I will say that the recent generations haven't really struck me in the way that they used to, but you can't go wrong with Pokemon. Uh, except Arceus. Arceus was actually a good game for some of the recent games. Uh, as far as other things, I'm a big Persona fan, like the storyline in Persona just really, um, like I said, I'm really interested in concepts of freedom and Persona definitely pursues some of those ideas. Uh, at least Persona 5 does. I haven't gotten into the previous Personas, uh, but Persona 5 definitely explores ideas of freedom and I'm, yeah, I, I like Persona a lot. I also like really wholesome games like Animal Crossing, uh, Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. Like I love those kind of like really wholesome games. They're just a lot of fun for me personally. And I cannot wait to play Haunted Chocolatier whenever that comes out. I will absolutely be playing that. I don't know, probably here on the, on like the second channel, but yeah, I, I think those are some of the games I'm into. Okay, so Jesus or Jesus asks, what if they add a new playable species in Splatoon 3? Uh, actually, it's really interesting that you say this because I have a theory. I have a theory that in Splatoon 4, and you know what, debunk me if you want, I don't care, but it's just my current thoughts. I think that in Splatoon 4, I think that Mammalians are going to be available as an option. That's how I feel. I have reasons for thinking that that I'm not gonna go into, but that's what I think. But I will still be an Octoling. Ren asks, do the eight ball levels of Octo expansion give you emotional trauma? And no, they do not. In fact, I really enjoyed the eight ball levels. You know what does give me just flashbacks is the is the grappling hook and rails one. I and the jetpack, just no from me, big no. Thank you very much. Uh, Bup asks, how is Ginge like? So uh, yeah, so Ginge is like a, he's like a senior boy. He's very sweet. He's nice to everyone. He like, if he doesn't even know you, he will literally like flop on his back and ask you for belly rubs. Like he's just so sweet. He's never scratched anybody. He's never bit anybody. Like I can give him a bath and he's fine. I can like, yeah, he's super chill. Like I got exceptionally lucky with just how chill he is. And I just love him to pieces. Uh, Bup asked a few other questions. Uh, do I play any instruments? Uh, well, I, I, I technically play piano, but not in quite a while. I've also played the guitar, but not in quite a while. Uh, but you know, I, I know like my basic chords and I, I, I could play if I needed to. The thing is though with instruments is I never learned to read music, uh, which was a problem. I never learned how to formally read music, but I did play like mostly by ear and just through like playing with like friends or other people. Uh, and it's not technically an instrument, but if I had to say anything musically, I grew up singing. I sang a lot, a lot, a lot of singing like in groups. Uh, and also like just solo. I love to sing. It's a lot of fun for me and I wish I did it more often.
perspective on school. So I take, I think that school is exceptionally important uh, for reasons that maybe not a lot of people think about. A school is not just about getting like straight A's or memorizing exactly everything that you need to for the test. In fact, I think it's I think that that's like the least important part of school is needing to memorize things and, and you know, passing this one exam, whatever. School does, however, teach you critical thinking skills, which I know seems like a concept that's kind of like thrown around a lot. But in reality, for me, okay, if we're going to talk about education, I don't care if I or you or anyone knows how to memorize something like that is literally the least important part of education instead I would rather you have the skills to be able to answer the question for yourself right it's not just memorizing what other people tell you but it's having the skills to figure it out on your own or to be able to like enter into a space that would get you to that answer yourself. I think that's way more important and needs to be emphasized when it comes to school is your critical thinking. I will say though that I wish that there was secured support across the board, not only for students, but also for educators, uh, for everybody involved in the educational system. And I think that that's where the pitfalls lie is when uh, people just aren't supporting each other or the people who are in charge aren't getting the support that they need. There's problems. There's so many problems with our educational system, but education itself is important. I'll leave it there. Whale asks, uh, what other hobbies do you have other than Splatoon 3? And is a hot dog, a sandwich, or a taco? So other hobbies that I have is I love reading. Like reading is my number one hobby and I, I read a lot. I, I just love reading. It's something that like I find a lot of enjoyment out of because I, I love to learn uh, about the world around me. I love to learn about other people and their perspectives. And it's just, I feel like I, I could, if I could just literally read all day, I would be very happy. So yeah, that's definitely a hobby of mine. I love to cook. I also really like to dance. I love to dance salsa. I was also learning bachata for a while. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy dancing just like with friends and like going out. It's a lot of fun uh, for me personally. And uh, I also really like to cycle. I'm a huge cycler. Um, now that the weather is getting better, I'll be able to get out there more. But yeah, I would much prefer to get around just by cycling all day. I wish that like here in the US, it was just a much more bike friendly place because I love cycling. It's just like, I, I love it, like getting together and just like cycling together, like running my errands that way. I just much prefer. It's, it's just lovely. And to your question about is a hot dog a sandwich or a taco? I don't eat hot dogs, so I don't think I should have an opinion on this. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> sorry. Igor asks, after Octo Expansion, will you play the Splatty 2 story mode or maybe even get Splatty 1? So yeah, I have a lot of plans for future streams specifically. I want to play this, the Splatoon 2 story mode. I want to play Splatoon 2 in general. I would also really like to play some of the Splatoon 2 Splatfests. From my understanding, you're able to kind of like do a replay of them. I don't know how it works, but somebody was telling me that you could do that and I think that'd be so much fun. And yeah, I would love to play Splatoon 1. Please, Nintendo, like bring Splatoon 1 on Nintendo Switch. That would be amazing. Yeah, I have, I have a ton of plans for future things. In reality, there's just not enough time in the day. And this is what I mean when I say that Splatoon won't let me breathe and just how much you know I have other things I would like to play but there's just too much to do in this game right now and I'm really enjoying the process and I hope you all are too. Uh, Arvega asks what are some Splatfest ideas that you want to see happen? I so here's the thing I don't necessarily know if I have Splatfest ideas that I would love to see happen oh except you know what here's one thing that I would like to see happen because I feel very passionately about it. All right Neapolitan ice cream choices, strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate. I am 110% team strawberry. And this is something that I would fight so hard for. So yeah, that I guess that would be a fun spot fest. So Fern asks a couple questions, and I think uh, at the heart of some of Fern's questions is basically like, have I ever played other first person shooters or just shooting games in general? And like, how would I compare them and what do I think would make it different and here's the thing I don't play shooting games 
like at all. No, I'm I yeah, I've never gotten into it. I'm really into wholesome games. And so uh, I can't really speak to uh, how maybe Splatoon would be unique or different. Uh, but in that front, but in that front, but you know, Splatoon is like such a welcoming space for so many people and it does a really great job of like combining competitive and just fun and like literally everything you could want and I think that's why the community is the way that it is. I I just love it. I'm very happy and I think that those were all the questions that I had gotten. I hope that you enjoyed and if you have other questions that maybe you would want me to answer you can leave them in the comments below. I probably won't do another one of these for quite a while but I will keep note of them. I will keep note of them and I can either answer them in a stream maybe sometime or maybe I'll make a follow-up video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!